Hello everyone, Dragonwoxel here, back on YouTube after three years now. <laughs> it has been a long time and I really am sorry about that, but I am back. New software, new everything. Ow, my tongue hurts. And we are back with what was my first Switch game when the Switch came out. Or when I got my Switch was this was the first game that I got. Zelda Chronicles 2. To be honest, I was a fan of the Xenoblade Chronicles series. Well, only Xenoblade Chronicles 1 and 2. I don't hate. Haven't seen any of the other games. I heard they, they were great as well. But we're here after three years. And we are ready to play this game. Pre-existing save data will be found. If you save after starting a new game, the old data will be overwritten. So please be careful. I don't care. I'm starting recording. Always do normal. No one's for that easy bull. Uh, no one cares. And we are jumping in. I will be quiet for the few moments so narration can happen. I'll talk to you guys after it. Screw that. <laughs> I was going to wait until the narration, but to be honest, there's no talking here, so I'm just going to say this. This game utterly shook my concepts. And I'll get into that later, but... Th this game was is just amazing. Thank you, Matt Mas I, 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 I couldn't say his name. Torn a character design. Of course the music the music of this game is amazing. Now I do have to say some of the cutscenes look a little weird. And that's only because of character movement. But that doesn't become an issue till way later. And up we go. <laughs> it has been a long time coming. And I will be quiet, because here comes the voice acting. I'm not playing the Japanese version, I'm playing English. Don't hate me. <sighs> we really do need to buy ourselves a new depth probe. The ping was off by 150 pets to the east. That's not gonna fly. And what about the treasure, Rex? Was it in line with your expectations? It seemed pretty solid. 
didn't even have to reinforce it too much. Even with the labor costs, we should be able to turn a decent profit. Honestly, it takes you two days to run the structural analysis. Yet somehow you can gauge the profits in an instant. Don't go raining on my parade, Gramps. You know, I'm in the salvaging trade for the cash. A little business sense goes a long way. All right? Whoa! I didn't expect that. You've been living in this thing, big guy. Bricks. No worries, Gramps. I think we know what's for lunch. And we get into our first fight. Uh, time to earn your lunch. Initiate combat. The first thing Rex needs to do is draw his weapon. Simply press A. To display the target, press R. It's been a long time. Uh, Essentially, as all Xenoblade Chronicle, both Xenoblade Chronicle games, auto attack is your friend. Okay, time to take you down. Uh, auto attacks are delivered in sets of three, the attack power increasing with each blow. Now this wasn't in Xenoblade Chronicles 1. I feel like this is way better, but it becomes better as it goes on. Ha! Uh, nothing too much. Just up. Oh. As you were, if you were looking at the bottom right screen, or lower right, yeah. Um, those, those little seconds right there is the arcs. Uh, you only get three of them. Very standard stuff. They're just special techniques that each player can do. We'll get into more into them more later whenever we can actually have more. Essentially. But each one has a recard, recharge, and the recharge is how many auto attacks go through. So. Like I just said, the recharge gauge will refill as you auto attack in this. I'm not doing it until the third for a reason. Ha! Anchor shot. Ha! As you just saw, when I did it after the third attack hit, a blue ring attack. That is called a cancel hit. Or action cancel, art cancel, whatever. That will increase the power. If you do it on the third section, then it's way better than any of the others. No one cares. Why not? Yeah, I'm feeling strong. And he's dead. Well, it's time for me to go silent once again. An entire horizon of white. A sea of clouds. And at its heart, a world tree piercing the heavens. This, this is the world we call home. All rest. Story goes that when the world was young, Everyone in all rest lived on the tree, together with our divine father, the architect. According to the tales, it was a bountiful land. And the people there held the power to command even the heavens themselves. They called that paradise Elysium. But then, one day, we were cast out. Nobody knows why. Perhaps we angered our creator. Or perhaps it was something else entirely. All we know is we were forced to leave Elysium, to live here in all rest. Where it turns out, life was pretty hard. But when it seemed like we would surely die out, the architect took pity on us, sending his servants, the Titans, to save us. The few of us who survived settled on the Titans, and we've lived in harmony with them ever since. But now those Titans are beginning to die out. Uh, oh, the 
Asia does my weary old bones much good. You want me to move it, Gramps? No, that's quite all right. Leave it right there. Uh... Right up. Not another one. Been happening a lot lately. Mm, more so than before. I wonder... if anyone was living there. It seems not. And if there had been, they would have all left by now. Makes sense. Hey, Gramps. Do you think... Fonset Village will be gone too one day. It would not be today or tomorrow, but one day, yes, it will fall. And you too? That's how it goes with us Titans. There's no way around it. Eventually, there'll be nowhere left to live. Sadly. So... You Titans were born up there. Is that right? So they say. For what it's worth. Mind you, I was born here on all rest. As for my ancestors, who could say where they were born? Can it really exist? This Elysium and the Creator who said to live there? A land of plenty atop the world tree. If such a place did exist, perhaps we could all live in peace, with no need for fighting. Sure would be great. For everyone. Even folks in Fonset. If the Divine Architect can see us now, I wonder what he thinks. Okay, one thing. You don't automatically up. Oh, you don't automatically say happening every day with just a minuscule face. All right, back to making money. Is that is that right? I think this hole should be enough for today. Oi, Gramps, care for a little swim to the Argentum Trade Guild? You're planning on selling it now. It's getting toward my bedtime. <laughs> Don't play the lazy old man with me. There's plenty of sunshine left. Kids these days. No respect, I swear. To be honest, by the time when I'm recording this, I don't know when it's going to come up. The Red Area 51 is happening in 15 days. So, I don't know... Kids have no respect these days. They just want to kill themselves. I have no idea. <sighs> anyway. Welcome to the Argentum, Argentum Trade Guild. Don't worry. Our time here is going to be short. Why, if it isn't Rex? How's business? Going all right, else I wouldn't be here. Fair point. So, which one am I unloading? We can leave that until I'm done negotiating. Shouldn't be too long. Well, morning is 15 gold per half day. I'll have you a gold after I sell the stuff. All right, later. Hey, hold on. You know I can't do credit. <sighs> Does it every time, too. No 
no longer, I'm afraid. Back yours? <laughs> of course. Oh, Gramps, you are the best. Awesome. This thing's huge, and it's not even a Titan ship. Of course it's not. It looks like your adventure is ready to go on. Yes, it is, but my adventure is pretty much over for, t for this video. Um... That's gonna do it for this video. I'll be recording another one after this. But yes, I am back into the YouTube game. I'm a horrible YouTuber, I know. Like I said before, like if you are still watching this channel, this is gonna be a hobby. I have a real job, so this is gonna be an actual hobby for stuff going on. Anyway, I will see you all later. This has been Dragon Voxel, signing off. Peace!